Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. How's it going? I've got a video that is going to directly make you more money because I'm going to teach you how to make more money on every single sale you get with Shopify. And this is going to put more money into your pocket. It's going to require exactly $0 and zero cents additional in terms of ad spend. You don't need to invest in different ads. You don't need to scale anything. I'm just going to show you how this strategy works. It doesn't matter what type of product you're selling, what type of store, or what type of niche you have, you're going to be able to make more money on every single sale. And to do this, you first need to understand the concept of average order value. Okay, and this is a little bit of a math equation. It's super simple. Average order value, as the name implies, is the average amount that you take in when you receive an order. Okay, not the total that you make. It's the average, right? Let's say you sell uh, one product for $20. I'm sorry, one order for $20 and one order for $30. Your average order value is $25, right? All it is is the total number of sales divided by the total number of orders. If you make $500 in sales and you have 10 orders, 500 divided by 10, that's 50 bucks. Okay, the higher the AOV, the better, right? That means you're making more money per order. So increasing average order value in this strategy requires no additional traffic, no additional ad spend, no extra money. We're talking about using the same exact amount of traffic that we have, just making more money off of that traffic. And our focus here is to create some conversion hacks that are going to simply focus on making the site perform better in terms of an average order value standpoint, right? What does all that mean? We're basically going to add in some things to our site to make more money per order. Okay, that's the simple, uh, the simple uh, kind of too long didn't read summary of this entire video. Okay, but we know we need to uh, increase average order value, but how, right? What plays into it? Well, if you, un again, if you just understand the definition, right, it's just the average amount that you take in per order. So how can you take in more per order, right? Obviously, you can sell more quantity of a product. That's the, the most basic, right? And you could affect this by how products are presented. You could have bundling, you could have featured products, right? But it's really all about adding upsells adding down sales, um, having cross sales, having little add-ons, having premium uh, um, add-ons, having little uh, bumps, order bumps, having um, uh, different packages, right? Different things that basically increase the amount that the customer is spending, right? And having a complimentary product catalog definitely helps. That's why niche is always the way to go. If you have a niche store, your entire product catalog is complimentary, right? If you have a cat store, then literally you could upsell or downsell or cross sell any product in your store. And of course, other things like shipping price and product price, those affect your average order value, but those are really more or less tied to your product. This can work, this strategy can work with any product, any service, any niche, any type of store. So what are some ways that you could increase average order value? Well, of course, you want to add upsells and downsells. When someone adds a product to cart, they are a very, very warm prospect. They're pretty much one step away from becoming a customer. To increase your average order value, have them consider buying another product. And this can look in a ton of, this could look, you know, basically like a lot of different things. It could be an add-on. It could be an, a completely different product to be upsold. It could be the same product that they buy multiple of. It could be a bundle, right? And it doesn't only have to be an upsell. If they turn down an upsell, you could show a downsell, right? Basically just another offer after the upsell. It's literally just, all, all this is is just a fancy way of saying, we're going to show more product to people that are about to become our customer. And even if 5% of people take an upsell or a downsell, that's 5% more money in your pocket without any additional ad spend. So we're talking about directly putting money in your pocket using these strategies. Okay, other, uh, other ways to increase average order value. You could add order bumps. You could add little add-ons, right? These are super powerful, right? The idea of order bumps or small add-ons, the reason why it's so powerful 
is that typically the price of these items shouldn't be more expensive than the original product. So we already know that someone is comfortable, let's say, to spend $30 on a product. We could present them with little bumps and add-ons, really basically the idea of nickel and diming them up to a higher average order value. So really the, the best ones that you could do, and this again can work in any niche, you could do something like rush processing, expedited delivery, Maybe something where you add value to the existing product or service. I always see this in terms of pet personalization. You could have multiple add-ons. For example, add another pet. That's an extra 10 bucks. Rush delivery. That's an extra seven bucks. Uh, rush processing. That's an extra three bucks. Download the digital file. That's an extra 15 bucks. Right. All of a sudden, you've just added $30 to your average order value just by having small little add-ons that the customer can choose. And because these are so cheap, they convert at a very high level, right? Again, the order bumps and the add-ons, they shouldn't be more expensive than the original product. And really, these are, all, these are basically upsells in and of themselves, except really the difference is that they're kind of complementary to the original product that you're selling. That's why they convert at such a high level. It's not about selling another product. It's more about adding something on to your existing product. And a lot of different powerful ways and a lot of different powerful examples that this can be uh, implemented in your store very, very easily. And it's a direct route to making more money. So how do you do this on your Shopify store? It's super easy. I'm going to show you an app called Order and Product Fees. And this is going to make adding these little add-ons and upsells and bu order bumps incredibly easy. So let's go over the shoulder and I'm going to show you exactly why I use and recommend Order and Product Fees app. Okay, this is Order and Product Fees app, and it's incredibly powerful. It's going to allow you to add these order bumps, these little upsells, these add-ons that are really going to convert at a very high level, and are going to put some significant money into your pocket. It's going to be the easiest way for you to increase your average order value, and this app is incredibly flexible. Uh, first of all, it's got an, a really strong 4.4 out of 5 star review over here. It's an incredibly easy to use app. They've got a really nice 14 day free trial. Then it's only $10 a month, $9.99 a month. And uh, order and product fees is going to do exactly what I was describing in the first part of the video. It's going to allow you to add all of these different add-ons to gain extra profit, to put more money in your pocket. And it's really about, and you can see these little screenshots, I'll show you a demo site in a second. But it's the idea of having little add-ons. You see that there are little extra charges here. For example, gift wrapping, rush delivery, right? All these things that you could add on that are just simple little check boxes and drop downs that get added into the checkout and the, uh, the shopping cart that simply increase your average order value, right? And these can be specific to your, uh, your niche, your product. You don't have to pick and choose. It doesn't have to be gift wrap. It doesn't have to be rush delivery. It could be any type of option you want. You could even add personalization options this way by enabling them to input information and check boxes, select drop downs that will really create a personalized setup for them and allow you to have all these little add ons, right? It's the idea of kind of nickel and diming the customer to get more money out of their pocket while still providing them value, right? All of these are complementary add ons to the product. For example, you see that this is a, uh, a little shoe, right? A uh, fashion shoe, it's $199, but there's all of these different add ons. So first of all, we could have rush delivery. That's an extra 10 bucks. Okay, so remember, this is a $200 item. Okay, we could have rush delivery. That's 10 bucks. We could add gift wrapping, right? Could add five bucks, 10 bucks, 15 bucks. You could add shoe polish, right? So add complimentary items, right? This would typically be something that you would present in an upsell. But why wouldn't you present it right in line, right? It's a, it's a product that has complimentary items, shoe polish, shoe brush, right? All of a sudden, we took our $200 item, now we're at $265 in the cart just by having these little add-ons, these order bumps, these complimentary upsells that really make sense to the product. And you'll be able to customize that on a per product basis. You don't have to always pick shoe polish. If you, if you have a hoodie, obviously you're not going to be selling shoe polish. But at $99, you could offer rush shipping, right? You could offer gift wrapping. Maybe you could offer custom tagging. Maybe you could offer a personalized note. Maybe you could offer a back print or a sleeve print or uh, um, uh, custom initials on the inside of the collar. Whatever you want to do to have a little add-on 
you could do that through order and product fees. It's incredibly powerful. And again, it doesn't have to be just gift wrapping or rush delivery or personalization or individual printouts. It could be anything you want. I'll show you another demo store over here. So basically these are in line inside of the cart. So you add any of these products to cart. Here's, let me just uh, show the, uh, the demo store here. You got a couple different products here, right? And when you add them to cart, you now have additional order bumps and upsells that are one click to add. Here we add, let's say we add gift wrap because we're gonna give this fossil watch as a, uh, as a, as a gift for a uh, birthday or something. And then we buy the iPhone X and we absolutely need to have the headphones as well, right? You see that we are just literally right in line adding these additional charges on here, right? Perfect for upselling, perfect for adding on these little order bumps, right? You see over here as well, insurance, right? Now, all of a sudden we had a, uh, a customer who was going to buy. Now they're an even better customer. They've bought insurance, they've bought headphones, they've purchased gift wrapping, right? All of a sudden, we could take a product and add 20, 30, 40% extra margin just by implementing all of this. It's incredibly powerful. So I highly recommend order and product fees. Again, you can see the link directly below this video. I personally use it in my pet personalization store. The link is directly below this video. I know you're gonna love order and product fees. It's gonna uh, immediately help you make more money in your store. Make sure you get it added to your Shopify store. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment uh, directly below this video. Uh, otherwise, I know this is gonna help you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.